fake song. Fake song. <laughs> okay. Friendly neighborhood squid sacks, and this song is called. What was that song? Called? Oh, that song I just played. Oh, <laughs> it's called Somewhere Near an End. It's from an EP I just randomly released because, you know, fuck you. <laughs> it's random. It's random, and this is I recorded it in like. No, 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 fight. I'm not in Jersey. I'm not even gonna say what it's called. I'm just okay, gonna play go. it. <laughs> the name of that song ha 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 next song you're listening to the squid sax on dr flamingo's sound repository and also you're listening to jolt radio if you didn't remember that because you're on a computer or whatever looking at computer computer i'll play it's whatever like wasting tape like <laughs> all right this next song is called the void all right, fine. This next song is called Chicken Kitchen. I'll play. <laughs> right, this next song is called Age. If you're thinking about your life. Neck. 
neck deep in the coming of age The sequel to the life There's more we could ever dream It's a dream that spells our end There's more we could ever dream It's a dream that spells our end This next song is called Chance. This song's called Jesus Gave Me a Blowjob. And Jesus slipped me sad on hypocrite lane. Jesus, I 
prepared for the name. Mary had a skin. I was a lid and pulled by the end we drill right through the stand You're filthy heathen You're filthy heathen You're filthy heathen Rock and roll. Hoo -hoo, that's it. Oh, yeah. This song is, uh, what did I call it? I don't, oh, I think I called it Behind. I don't, I don't know. That's, it's, yeah. Gotta try. It's online. Who cares? <laughs> nope, that's, that's not how it goes. I remember the days in the trash can. I'm stubborn and free This next song is called What I Saw Today.
All right, so this song is called Youthful Immolation. your religion out of my face and now with your heart no time in fears youthful thing is none of your concern as you up as you are trying cracking at the Squid sacks mean? Squid sacks. What does it mean? I don't. I don't know if there's a meaning behind it. It's just a thing that was called in middle school. It may have come from me. It may have come from this other guy. It's. It, it was me and this guy named Ramsey. He was obsessed with radishes and cheese. He was Ramsey. A, yeah, Ramsey radish. That's what we call them. Ramsey Bolton. No, but he stole my shoes once for gym class, and like I had to run a mile without it. Oh, I got my shoes stolen before. That's not fun. It sucks in like the Florida heat and the pavements like ripping your feet up and all yeah, that. Yeah, pavement sucks. The band or the, 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 the stuff? Both. I like pavement. Okay. Well, you shouldn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, no shouldn't. offense to people that listen to pavement. or But defense to pavement. <laughs> I don't like pavement. 
them. Really I liked totally when they were on Space Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> uh, Space Ghost is one of those shows I need to watch. How can I call myself an animator and not watch, know that show? Ah. It's called, don't call yourself late for dinner. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It was before my time. We'll use that excuse. Be, be uh, after your time. That's all I am. That's I where, it, uh, where it go. The next question. Well, that's a lot of reverb. The next question that I have for you is how do you record and produce your stuff? All by myself because I'm a narcissist and I can't let anyone else touch my instruments and play my songs. That's not what a narcissist is. That's, that's a nihilist. You, well, I'm that too. But. That's a nihilist. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I've all, I, ever since I started recording squid sax when I was, I think, 15, I would have been 15, it was like late 2015, early 2016, I just did everything myself, and I did it in my bedroom with microphones that I would scavenge up or like buy or save up for, whatever, just always in my bedroom. Yeah, I just record everything by myself. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's, uh, that's the way to go there, Chad yeah. Turkey. The fourth question that I have for you is... Why? Oh, oh, now you're bringing out the nihilist part. Oh, oh. Um, why? Um, it's better than killing myself, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's better to, to create than destroy. Well, well, depending on what you're doing. Right? I enjoy creating, and it's not hurting one anybody else. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, chicken wings or flats? Oh, ooh. Uh... Oh, this, this is the toughest question all night. I don't know, man. I eat all sorts of different varieties of chicken shape. Um, Do you like chicken liver? you like chopped liver? I can't say I eat too much organ meat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I eat a decent amount of chopped liver, and I, I, I highly enjoy it. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Hmm. Ah, uh, good New York pizza is always Ooh, good. Yeah, I should have got pizza. What's your, uh, what's your favorite album? Favorite album? Off the top of your head. I would say the most inspirational album for me is Beck's album, Golden Feelings, just because oh, really? I listened to it in high school and I was like, holy shit, this is weird as fuck. You could do that with an acoustic guitar. That's interesting. I love that balance. You have like yeah. pop structure, but like you fuck with it just enough where it like grabs you in a way that nothing else does. Yeah, I call that like the in-between. Like it's like what Spinal Tap said, there's a fine line between clever and stupid. Yeah. Uh, but like it's uh, fun to fuck with that line. Yeah, and like um w say with my own with my own band, Montage, um, I think that people look at us like we're like dead serious about stuff but people don't see the humor in the lyrics, um, because most of the stuff is uh firmly tongue-in-cheek bullshit that is kind of, people don't necessarily understand, mm -hmm. which is funny as fuck. Your shit is so fucking... Like, it. I think it's more accessible lyrically than my own stuff because my stuff is so dense. I, I think that I try to almost make it too dense, and not necessarily on purpose, I think it's subconsciously, well, and I just don't want people to understand what I'm actually saying. I think with my music, too, my vocals, is just the way that I mix and the kinds of music I make, it's the vocals are just more up front, too. Like, with your stuff, it's more definitely more instrumentally focused, I'd say. Yeah, the, the, the singing is, um, a lot of the time the singing is uh, like an instrument in itself. That's what one of our drummers said one time. He said that... Um, if we were a jazz band, my instruments, like, you know, me singing is like a trumpet or a saxophone or something. <laughs> and, and I always thought that was funny. But um, the words have always been important in my music, but the way that it was uh, mixed on purpose was basically, like, to be, like, almost out of reach. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> Was on my show, and I was alright. <laughs> Good God, I don't know the chords to change. <laughs> no, being being the G go together. 